Welcome back to the Today Show, live from New York. I'm Riley Ailes. And I'm Carla Puccini. We have a very special guest for you guys today, an expert on the good life. Allie Hart, thank you for being with us today. Hi Riley, hi Carla, thank you for having me. Hi, thanks for being here. So you've come to share your expertise on the good life, something that many people um, think about, especially at this time of year. Um, so what is the good life? Well, the good life is really an idea that is up for interpretation. Um, a lot of people think that the good life is kind of like the American dream, having a house, a family, um, with the white picket fence, but for some people it is just to be successful in their career or um, to live a wealthy life. That's something that some people strive for, so it definitely changes person to person. That's a really great point. Um, so how would someone go about obtaining their good life? Um, well, there are different opinions and theories that philosophers have debated over the years. Um, however, from my research, I have picked a few to share today that I think will definitely be helpful to the audience. Um, the first thing um, to keep in mind is the, one of the Buddhist teachings about the middle path. Hmm. And what is the middle path? <clears throat> well, it's the idea that you don't live um, in any sort of extreme way, um, but more balanced lifestyle. For example, you don't have things in excess like pleasure, but you also don't want to, you know, like um, cut yourself off from that. You want you want it to be like in the middle um, and live a balanced lifestyle. Um, also, um, it is. If you're looking to integrate um, sort of a more religious aspect into your life in order to obtain your version of the good life, um, St. Augustine suggests um, that happiness is dependent on God and that having a good relationship with God will lead you to having the good life. You know, Allie, I really agree with that. I think having God as a presence in your life is a key part in creating the good life for yourself. Yes, for that's sure. definitely a popular one. Um, also... Um, from a more recent philosopher, actually um, a professor at UConn, Joel Kupperman. He suggests that maintaining um, high self-esteem can lead to happiness for the long term. And the key is to work for both long and short-term goals and to also make sure that you enjoy the present. This is all very interesting. Um, could you possibly tell our audience what type of good life you envision for yourself? Well, I like to strive for balance, and I like to be able to live comfortably, but not in, not too extravagantly. Um, so I definitely, the way I live my life, I try to incorporate the, um, the Buddhist teaching of the middle path, because um, I like to be balanced and not have too much or too little of something, so that's definitely something I like to consider. That's great. Well, thank you so much for coming today and sharing your expertise on the good life. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime. So next up after the break, we will have um, a little thing on how to learn how to make holiday cookies and cupcakes. So festive, so stay tuned. And I will work my magic. Send it to my phone first, so I'll just put my phone on. 